Hello everyone, and welcome to Tales of Zestiria. Oh, I am so excited for this game, you guys have no idea. Uh, quick thing before we start, first of all, this is the PS4 version, I should have it all in the title. This is the PS4 version of the, the PS4 English version of Tales of Zestiria. This is all in English, I'm not having the Japanese audio or anything like that when I first booted up the game. It said, uh, hey, do you want Japanese or English audio? And I was like, I probably want English audio so I can understand what they're saying. But anyways, I also don't know if subtitles are enabled, because literally I turn on the game, it asked me what audio setting I wanted, and then put me at this, uh, new game spot, and I thought, well, this is probably a good place to start the playthrough. Uh, Tales of Graces, by the way, the series I was doing before this, has not completely finished. I still have the rest of the postgame to go, I haven't even finished recording the rest of the postgame. But I will be doing that, it'll just upload a lot more... Uh, how do I, a lot slower than it was before, because my main focus is going to be this game, Tales of Zestiria. Because I want to get a lot of it out now that it's new, and I'm really excited to play it, and yada yada. So, ah, here is all of the stuff. Battle difficulty, normal, simple, moderate, or hard. We're going to play on normal. I'm pretty sure you, if it's like the other Tales games, you can change it during the game. If the game is too easy for me, we'll turn it up to moderate. But I'm going to put it on normal for now. Attack input time changes the amount of time available to input normal and art attacks during combos. I'll just leave that at normal. Subtitles are on. Thank you. Menu shortcut. Specify the menu to open with R2 while in the field. Uh, items. Sure. Navigation map display. Set with the menu map in the upper left has fixed orientation or rotates with the camera. I'd rather it stay fixed if that's what I think it is. Map camera rotation speed. That doesn't matter because I've got it set to fixed, I'm pretty sure. Uh, map camera axis. You can change the direction of the camera that is controlled by moving left or right with R while moving. Normal or normal or inverted. Okay, I was confused as what it was asking for a second there. I was like, it probably means if I want it inverted or not, but I'd rather it be normal. Uh, if I get confused with it later, I'll switch it to inverted. I can never remember which one I'm more accustomed to. Vibration function will be on. Map camera auto. Just select whether you want the camera to rotate automatically in the direction the control is facing. No, I'll just leave it to where it stays completely still. Uh, change the button configuration in battle. Press X to open the configuration scene. Martial art, hidden seraphic art is X. Guarding is square. Menu is triangle. Mm, I'll leave it like that for now, and if I don't like it later on, we'll change it and leave that. Uh, I'll leave all of these at 4 because I can turn it up or down in editing, so it doesn't matter. And I think we're all good to go. Let's get into this game. I'm so pumped. The first Tales game on a new gen console. And the first Tales game that I'm playing upon release. Every other Tales game I've played after it was already released. The Legend of the Shepherds. In a bygone age of myths, when darkness threatened to enshroud the world, it was they who reclaimed light from nothingness. Over and over, as the world plunged into chaos, the legend would come to people's lips, and they would pray for salvation. And lo, each time a shepherd would appear to vanquish the darkness once more. But with peace returned, it was never long before the shepherds would vanish. As for where they had gone, no one can truly say. And, as with all things, eventually they faded into legend. Now, once again, the world faced the threat of the darkness. People began to speak of the shepherds once more. But alas, no shepherd came forth to guide his people to peace. Well, that's unfortunate.
I am feeling a lot of Skyward Sword nostalgia right now. All right, controls, uh, area map, reset camera, menu shortcut, show objectives, Sorry, map action. Sorry is the name of the main character, I'm pretty sure. Uh, that's square, triangle opens menu, cancel and walk, X is to confirm. All right, seems, uh, seems pretty simplistic. We're at Al Alicia, home of the Seraphim. Seraphim are like uh, angel type things, aren't they? Pretty sure. All right, that lets me draw out my sword, because I'm awesome. Oh, this game looks pretty good. Looks pretty good indeed. I like it. I have no idea where we're supposed to be going right now, but I guess we will find out. Check. It's the mural that we saw at the beginning of the game. He's got a sketch of it. I knew it. A hero brandishing the sacred blade. This mural is a depiction of the shepherd. <laughs> About time I found it. Nothing on my end, Soray. Miklio. Looks like he beat me this time. This proves the Shepherds have been around since even before the Arrow of Asgard. I knew it! Let's not jump to conclusions just yet. We still don't have definitive proof that this ruin itself is pre-Asgard. It could be an imitation. Seriously? You really think they'd make a fake ruin of this scale? Get real. This doesn't bode well. Wait, isn't that... I think our ruin adventure is over for today. Come on! Sore and Miklio. So these are our first main character. Oh no, there goes Miklio. Ah, that was too close. Could I get a little help, please? Oh darn, there wasn't a third person to grab Sore. That's unfortunate. What a great start to our amazing journey. Surging current! Twin flow! Saray. That didn't go quite how I planned it, but not too shabby, am I right? Guess this makes us even. Unbelievable. Who knew there'd be ruins underground? Oh, good thing we fell down here. Right. Hey, let's try and find a way out of here. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Mount Mabinogio? No, how do you pronounce that? Mabinogio? I don't I don't know how you would pronounce that exactly. But anyways, it looks like Miklio actually follows us around. That's pretty cool. I never knew the ruins went this deep. Better leave the investigating for another time. We need to find a way out of here. I mean, we could explore and find a way out of here. But yeah, both of these guys are on the box art. They're obviously our main characters. They're the... Like, Sore is our main, main character, because we control him. Miklio, not so sure on him. We will see as time goes on. A Sage. Increases maximum HP by 10. All herbs will restore HP, and that's cool. Is this a save point, I'm assuming? Save game. To save your current game progress, stand on a save point and press X. Ah, oh, this... Look at that. That's cool. I, it was like a dark sphere when I walked into it, but now it's like an always activated save point. I like it. I like it a lot. And thus, our game was saved. Can I, yeah, I can walk. Okay, cool. I've got a really fast walk. Well, not fast, but, like, look at how quick my legs are going. Like, I've, I've obviously got places to be while I walk. 
What do we have through here? Whoa. Oh man, what a drop. It's been nothing but heights all day. But I had an awesome bar relief to distract me. Yeah, I bet you did. Hmm? It looks like someone's lying there. Hey, Miklio? Hmm? It's... It's a human. It can't be. Stop. We shouldn't involve ourselves with their kind. She's still alive. We can't just leave her there. Fine. I'll give what help I can. Let's take a look around the area first. Okay. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Two, possibly three things. Okay, first of all, apparently we're not human, because they said she was a human. They're like, no, nah, we can't involve ourselves with humankind. They didn't say humankind, but they said their kind, which implied humankind. Second of all, how could they tell that that is a human from right here? How? Third thing, like what What defines us as different from humans? We look the exact same as a human. Well, there's only one way to find out, and that's to talk to Miklio first. There's no time to lose, we have to reach her. Playing the Shining Knight is all good and well, but you won't save anyone if you get yourself hurt or worse, of course. Look at this thing. I got a sword for you. There we go. Ew. I like... My sword's all sticky. Pause. Cobwebs everywhere. I bet no one has set foot in here for some time. I like how one slice of my sword just absolutely annihilates the cobweb completely. I thought I'd have to cut through it like a couple of times, but nah. Spider? What's wrong? Shh. I hear a spider. There! Yep. It's huge. What is this thing? Quit gawking and get your sword ready. Perform martial arts with circle, okay? Yeah. Ready? Perform martial arts with circle. When the control mode is set to semi-auto, you will run towards your target until you are close enough to attack. You can then create up to a four-hit combo with additional pressures of circle. It's possible to acquire new arts by leveling up. Nice. Alright, seems easy enough. Pretty basic. Square is my guard. I can sidestep and whatnot. Come here, you. Ow. Come here, you. It looks like my attacks are denoted by the blue bar at the bottom, maybe? Wait, hold on. It can't be a Hellion? A Hellion? For real? I've never seen one in person before. What could a monster like a Hellion be doing in a place like this? It's getting away! Wait, don't you remember what Gramps told us? Huh? Hellions? Yep, Hellions. Horrible monsters that are created by the Malevolence. They can only be defeated by the power of purification, which not but a chosen few can use. So if you ever cross paths with a Hellion, just run as fast as you can. Remember, you two. Common folks like us don't stand a chance against those fiends. Cut it? Thank you, random flashback. We can't beat a Hellion without the power of purification. And we should just be glad we escaped it. And anyway, we have bigger problems. Hmm? We have to hurry and save that girl, before something worse finds her. So how did we know that was a Hellion? Are Hellions always spiders, or is it like the Dark Aura? What defines a monster as a Hellion, I wonder? In areas where Hellions roam, making contact with an enemy will launch a battle. By swinging your sword using square or using other map actions, you can begin the battle with an advantage. Nice. Oh, there are my results. Sweet. Well, let's continue onward then. Ooh, a chest. I love chests. Do I didn't even read that because I'm pretty sure I understand the basic understanding of chests. Ancient earring. Earrings. I can't read. 
Earrings discovered among ruins, said to endow the wearer with an enhanced understanding of nature. Sweet. You do Is that a monolith? 